guys, welcome back to Casual Fridays. This Friday I'm gonna share with you my opinion on the products that I had on my past weekly makeup basket. It was a little, a little bit different from um, other Fridays because I don't know, I have mixed emotion with this product. So if you're interested in what products I liked and which ones I just didn't care for, then just keep watching this video. Thanks. Let's start with a product that I don't really know what I think about it. This is the Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Correcting Primer and <clears throat> it has this little brush but I don't know, it's supposed to be easier for you because you just kind of apply it with the brush but I feel like it doesn't do that much that way so I always have to pat it in with my fingers and try to hide my big pores so I don't think this is really worth it for the price I don't know if it's 12 or 14 dollars that it retails for I'm gonna list the products down here and this is half an ounce it's not even an ounce so I feel like for this amount of product it's just way too expensive for what it does it's basically just act as a regular primer that I feel like it does help you with the longevity of your foundation but nothing crazy I don't think it works for what I mostly wanted which is just trying to hide my pores and make my makeup last longer so this is not something that I would recommend I will finish it but I really wouldn't repurchase and it. For face products, I told you that I was gonna use my L'Oreal BB Cream and that I thought it had two more uses. Well, I was lying, it had a lot more. Now it's totally empty, but I use it the whole week. I use this mostly during the summertime as my only thing, even though it doesn't have SPF. I have it with my moisturizing lotion that I use, so I don't really care about that. I feel like this corrects all my imperfections and makes my skin look healthier. This is what I use every single day during the summertime. There's some people that hate it, some people that love it. I think it actually depends on what you look into a BB cream. This is actually for correcting imperfections and gives you a little bit of coverage, but enough for me to make my skin look even and just it works 100% of the time but having said that I told you that I was gonna wear my wet and wild coverall cream foundation I didn't get a chance to use this because I finished this one that I was really eager to finish it because I had it since the summertime so I'm gonna keep this for my next week makeup basket because I didn't get a chance to even love it or hate it. For eyebrows, you know, I told you I was gonna use my e.l.f. Uh, eyebrow kit that I broke this thing here so I needed to use it up but it seems like it's a never-ending kind of thing because this won't just go away so I think I'm gonna wait on my Anastasia pomade I'm gonna put that one on hold or just use it on special occasions and I'm gonna try to finish this one first because I feel like this works I mean if you don't want to spend the $18 on the Anastasia pomade this works I mean it's only three dollars and it's totally worth it it really you know you can define your eyebrows you can just fill them in whatever you want to do you can do a subtle look you can do more of a dramatic bold brows but this just works the only thing that I don't you know the only thing that I would say is that it's not waterproof so if you're gonna go to the gym with your eyebrows on maybe this is not such a good idea and the Anastasia pomade will work better for you but as an overall thing this is something that I will keep repurchasing over and over again because it does a good job the only thing that I find now is that it's not really waterproof, so that's why I have my Anastasia for special events. I have another e.l.f. love and you know, I love a lot of e.l.f. products, but I feel like the must try product of all or one of the most uh, recommended by me anyways would be this powder. It's the e.l.f. press powder. I think this is from the, what is it, Studio Line? So it's about three dollars. I think this gets overlooked because it's a cheap product. I mean, honestly, I don't know why I order it. I don't know if I was looking for a powder. I don't know if I order it by mistake, but I had a powder that I love from the drugstore before or while I ordered this one, but this really impressed me. It's so buttery soft. I mean, I have expensive powders that they don't feel as soft as this. This also doesn't sit on top of your skin. This kind of melts in your skin and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't make you look cakey or anything like that. So if you're wondering about a good 
drugstore powder that actually works not only to give you a little bit more coverage but also as an overall powder finishing powder I would recommend you this one it even has like this puffy area that I just dropped so you can take it on the go it has a nice mirror that you can touch up in so I think this is an overall good product that everybody should another try another product that I'm not too happy um, about I don't know I'm just not too happy with this product it's the Sonia Kasha concealer and this is in the color 03 sand I think I mentioned this before but I'm going to say it a last time this is gonna be the last time you're gonna hear me talk about this product but I think it's really worth it so you know what you're going to purchase in case you were wondering I saw somebody rave about this product here in YouTube and she does have acne maybe she I don't know maybe it works for her skin I don't know what it is but I bought it this color it's the closest to my skin tone so I can cover my darkness but it actually make it look so ashy and gray even darkens my under eye area so I have to use a corrector first and then I apply this and then that way it works but I feel like if I don't know it's just too much work and I'm almost out of it but I'm gonna keep using it for carving my eyebrows and around my lips but this is one of the products that I wouldn't recommend you to purchase and that I'm not even ready to keep using it as a concealer because it doesn't really work it's way too greasy it's way too thick doesn't cover well it's just it doesn't work for me so there is that product that you don't hate but you don't love and this is the one from this week this is the Lorac behind the scenes eye primer this is a white eye primer and I usually were or now I'm into primers that actually have a little bit of color and that conceals my darkness on the lids so this is one point that I just don't really care for another thing is that I feel that this only makes my eyeshadows last longer but it does the same way as my three dollar um, elf primer or my Mary Kay one I don't know why would this be more expensive than any of those two products I really don't know uh, I'm gonna keep using it because like I said before it's something that it works as for making my eyeshadow last longer but I feel like I have to apply concealer so I can conceal my darkness and I don't know I have to make it work and I don't think that the price tag goes accordingly with what it this does at least for me a love that I have for this week is the Tarte light camera flashes this is one of the newest formulas from Tarte I think this works amazing I love my Benefit The Real. I think that this is pretty much the same thing as the Benefit The Real. The only thing that is confusing is the wand because one side is like shorter and it's supposed to be for volume and the longer side it's supposed to be for length. I don't know, I kind of figured it out already how to work it and make my lashes look longer and more volumized. I like this better than the Light Camera Lashes which was the previous formula. I think that this is pretty much waterproof because even when my my eyes water I don't see any smudging it stays on all day I can curl my lashes after I apply my mascara and I know that's not good for them but I do it and this is one of the you know once it sets it's dry so you don't feel like it's sticking to the eyelash curler if you do this thing you know what I'm talking about this works I like it and I like it even better than the benefit the real just because this has better ingredients than that one so I think this will be something that I'm willing to keep using and repurchase for my cheeks I love this physicians formula shimmer strip in rosy glow I saw it a lot cheaper in a couple of places already so I, I don't know if they're gonna discontinue it or if it's just because of the new line that physicians formula launched pretty recently but I don't know what it is this is amazing it's pink and it's shimmery if you don't like shimmer in your blushes of course you're not gonna like it but I feel like this gives you a nice glow without having to see chunks of glitter on your face so you look like I don't know with healthy glowing skin and I pair this with a smoky eye I pair this with a no eye makeup and it looks great with whatever I'm wearing so or using that day for makeup but this if you see it recommended rosy glow from positions for me. eyeshadows you know that I challenge myself just to use single eyeshadows this one's one of my favorite one this is the Polar Dorf New York eye coloring glimmer in hypnotic 
I don't know. This has a lot of product. It's like three grams, and uh, it's this one right here in the middle, the darkest color. It, it is very pigmented, and it lasts all day. It's easy to blend. I don't know where I got this, but I have to find out because honestly, I feel like that pigmentation, it's very hard to find. So I don't even know how much they're going to be. Maybe they're that expensive. And then the other color that I love this week, it's like a pinkish. I don't think you're going to be able to see it because it's right here. It's the MAC color in grain. I use it all over my lid with just mascara for the days that I was in a hurry, as well as my e.l.f. baked eyeshadow in toasted. I mean, if you don't have toasted, it's this one up here. You have to go buy it. It's like the most flattering international color that you will ever find. It's nice on brown eyes, black eyes, blue eyes. It's like a pinky, Mm, I don't know how to describe it like a pinky bronzy color with brown undertones I don't know. It's just so pretty. I love it And I think I mentioned it before in a couple of other videos So if you don't have it, you should go to Target and get it because it's that amazing And then lastly, I'm just gonna get rid of this Elf baked eyeshadow. This is in color dusk. It is making a mess in my collection Every time I'm gonna wear this or every time I try to wear it, I mess up my clothes or because I broke it and it just goes all over the place while I try to put my brush in it. It's not a pigment, so it's like flying all over the place. So I'm ready to get rid of it. It's a nice color. I used it this week. I think it's amazing for a smoky eye, but I'm just gonna get rid of it because of the messiness that I get out of this eyeshadow. So anyways, thank you for watching this video until the end. Today is Valentine's Day. Well, for you, not for me, because I'm recording this this on the 13th, yeah. But uh, I hope you have a happy Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoy the company of your loved one or your family or your kids, whoever is gonna be your Valentine this year. Uh, my husband and I, we used to go when the kids were younger to a um, nice restaurant in the in a canyon and just, you know, have a romantic dinner and talk about grown-up things. But, you know, it's been, I probably think, about three years that we're, you know, our kids are getting older and there are Valentines as well. So, we have this valentine's day as an excuse to go out and have dinner go for a movie and just eat, enjoy each other have a very long dinner talk about different things what's really going on with our lives and share the love that we have with each other and whatever gives me an excuse to have or spend time with my favorite people in this world which are my kids and my husband it's good enough for me <laughs> i hope you stay safe and that you have a wonderful weekend so i will see you back on Monday. Mwah.